Liam, the Death Doom Metalhead. I'm here with a new video today to kind of talk about Death Doom Essentials. So all these bands I'm going to talk about today are formed just after the 2000s, or their, their full lengths came out on after the 2000s. So there'll be no My Dying Bride, Paradise Lost, Enchantment, anything like that. This is all kind of newer bands, shall we say, kind of carrying a torch for Death Doom. The ones I like listen to a lot, and not a lot of people talk about especially on YouTube. So hopefully people watching this will get a kick out of the bands they see. I'll leave links below so you can check them out. I have done this video once already tonight then I realised it was all flipped the wrong way. Got over that and I'm okay now. But I was well angry earlier but now I'm going to try and get through it. It'll be great. So if you can hear it in the background we are listening to Sorrowful. This is in the Mexican one-man project I believe. Death Doom. As you probably gathered this whole video is Death Doom. Um, very, very good Death Doom if you've never listened to it before. It's just what well, you can hear it. It's essentially like My Dying Bride, Paradise Lost, there's Hooded Menace vibes in there. It's got everything. So go check it out because it's very much a nod to the 90s Death Doom sound. Now, if anyone's wondering what Death Doom is, essentially it's slowed down death metal. So the key factors for all these bands I'm going to show are guttural vocals, slow melodic death metal riffs, or in the vein of slow melodic death metal riffs. And they kind of encompass those kind of styles. So, some of the bands I picked are kind of branching out a little bit from it to kind of give it their own sound, which is really cool. But a lot of these have the kind of core fundamentals that make Death Doom really good and why I love it so much. So, first one is a Spanish Death Doom band. I believe they're based in Valencia. Uh, this is Evadne, absolutely killer band. Uh, been around since I think maybe just after 2010, I could be wrong though. But they've put out, I believe, three full lengths now, or maybe two. But for me, this is their strongest work. Uh, this is called The Shortest Way, which was put out through Solid 2 Productions. Sadly, it's not on vinyl, but it really should be, because it's an absolute classic, classic album. And any person who likes Death Doom and has never listened to this, this is where you go to first, because the melodies on this, the vocals, it has everything I love. Very gut, guttural, melodic. Guitar tone is spot on, you know, the production's really crisp. There's a picture of the band there, if you can see it. Absolutely amazing band, and yeah, one I listen to quite a lot, so that's the first pick. Second one is a band that is active, but I'm not sure how active. So they haven't put out anything for quite a while. They've got one full length and one single on a split, which I have back there. This is a super group, as it were, of musicians of the Dutch scene, but the core elements of it are essentially what Asphyx used to be. So I'm talking about Grand Supreme Blood Court. This is their only full length, like I said, called Bow Down Before the Blood Court. Yeah, Blood Court. I was going to say Blood God then. Absolutely amazing artwork, as you can see there. And this is, like I say, a super group. It has Van Drunen on vocals. Uh, Bob over here used to be the original drummer in Asphyx. This guy used to be the guitarist in Asphyx, so like on the rack, last one on earth. This is the current bass player of Asphyx, but he plays guitar on this album. And this chap here, I believe he was Inhaler Bullets, if you know that band, really cool death metal band from Holland. But yeah, essentially a, a Dutch supergroup of the heavyweights of the death doom scene. And this is an amazing album. If you've never checked this out, the production on this is absolutely killer. The Dutch just seem to have that kind of guitar tone that you just can't copy. And they sound always that kind of thick, full-on front or salt. Especially with this album, the bass is very up front, very rattly. It has its own sound. And I love it. Absolutely love it. And hopefully, I believe it's just going to be repressed either late this year or early next year. So I'm gonna definitely try and get a copy of that because this is an amazing album. So go check it out if you haven't. Right, all the rest of these are vinyl. Kicking off in Finland with an amazing, amazing band. It's a band that I've listened to for a number of years. I'm just gonna reach over and grab this to show you first. Now, I started off, I think, on the, the second full length of this band. This is their current release. And the band is called Solifus. The album is Realm of Ash and Blood. This came out last year. But Solifus are a Finnish Death Doom band that kind of borrow in the vein of Hooded Menace. Very slow, morphonical, very chuggy. But what these guys do differently and have their own sound is they use melodies to build songs and they kind of carry through the whole of the songs. So there's not just certain parts where there's melody, the whole song 
it's just riffing on melodies and it kind of builds between it. You compare it to the debut EP which I have here on cassette, very very different, different kind of sound and this isn't nowhere near as heavy as all their other albums but a good starting point. But this now their current sound, very thick, murky, horrible but amazing lead work. So all those songs kind of build these really interesting melodies and the atmosphere they create with the really scooped guttural vocals is just killer. So a really, really good band. And I, I imagine when uh, Hooded Menace kind of hang up their boots, these guys will just kind of jump in there and kind of take that title for me of what the best Finnish Death Doom band is. Because for me, it's obviously Hooded Menace just because I love that band to death. But these guys are a very close second. So Solifus, go check them out. Next over in America, my favourite Death Doom band in the States, I'm fairly sure I could say that quite comfortably now, yeah? They kind of combine the sound of Morbid Angel and Hooded Menace, so they kind of borrow from the two bands and kind of, kind of mould it into their own style, and it's just fucking sick. Really good band. This is Temple of Void, this is their second full length called Lords of Death. They have three full lengths out at the moment and a couple of splits. Amazing band, very guttural, very low end, uh, which kind of gives it that Hooded Menace vibe, but then the guitar tone and the riffing is very Morbid Angel-esque, kind of in the vein of Domination, kind of Gateways to Annihilation sound for me. Um, an absolute killer band. They are absolutely not amazing. The second track on here, Wretched Banquet, is the one I'll leave a link below for, because it's just such a killer riff. So thick, so heavy, and you'll instantly get an idea what this band is all about and as albums have gone on they've kind of progressed to the sound a little bit kind of brought in some progressive elements kind of give it a different flavour but all their albums are strong there's not a bad song on any of their albums so go check out some Temple of Void very very cool band next moving to Germany December Noir this is their debut band came out around 2012 maybe a bit earlier than that and they've got four full lengths now um, last one came out last year this is their debut and their strongest for me. Amazing band, very much borrows from the um, Paradise Lost, My Dying Bride kind of formula, but it's very guttural, very, very heavy, and the songs are very much built on atmosphere and dramatic riffs that kind of give essence to the choruses and stuff like that. They kind of build it, they go fast, they can go slow. You know, very, very cool band, really interesting solos and lead work. You know, it's not just your generic plod along doom kind of death metal. This is very much melodic death doom, you know, done in that kind of My Dying Bride kind of blueprint. So if you've never checked out December Noir, I imagine a few people watching my channel have by now because I love this band. Go check them out. Really, really cool band. Now, the best death doom band in the UK could easily be my band, which it obviously isn't. I'm only joking. To me, it is Eternal Rot. I absolutely adore this band. They are what Death Doom is. If you've got a load of zombies, put them in a recording studio, turned on all the music, like all the instruments, left the room, listened, you'd get this kind of music. It's hilarious. You, you, the description of that in my head, it just fits this music perfectly. So, very much leaning on the kind of hooded menace kind of vibe. Very, very, very guttural like to the point where you can barely hear it, it's just literally like a zombie grunt. And then the music kind of builds loads of atmosphere. So it's not kind of riff based Death Doom, this is more atmospheric Death Doom with kind of lots more feeling involved and it creates a kind of like a soundscape almost you could say. Artworks done by Mark Riddick on all their releases. I've got the uh, EP, like demo, first one and this one, absolutely amazing band. And all their releases are killer. And yeah, if you've never checked these guys out before, which I'd be surprised if you've watched my channel, you haven't, I strongly recommend you do. These guys absolutely deliver. So if you like really thick, guttural, death doom metal, these guys will tick that box for you. Right, next one was a, a, a definitely a newer band for me. One I checked out last year, which fits the death doom mold, but you could also say it goes into like melodic death metal a little bit, but. I mean, you'll see when I talk about it. But the band is Fires in the Distance. This came out last year. This is their debut full length called Echoes from Deep November. 
And these guys have a different approach to Death Doom, which really got my attention. And you know, really got into this band big time. Really, really cool band. I'll leave a link below of them playing one of their songs live, which is my favourite track. It's just amazing. So they play seven string guitars, but a more of a modern production on it. So the guitars are very clean. They're not overdriven with fuzz or feedback. It's very tight, compressed sound, but it's massive sounding. The bass is very clunky guttural vocals but they have synth keyboard noises kind of break up the songs and going to give it a different feel but the solos are well over the top technical so it kind of takes away from the murky kind of wankery solos you normally get in Death Doom these guys do more melodic straight to the point killer riffing with ridiculously talented shredding guitar on it but it fits perfectly so there's like loads of sweeps and all that kind of thing but it's all tight and precise and it's just an amazing album and a really cool band. So if you've never checked out Fires in the Distance and you kind of don't like that kind of murky Death Doom sound, give this one a go because it's totally different to all of them. They have their very much their own sound and I'm really looking forward to what these guys put out next because they are a really, really good band. And like I said, I'll leave a link below to see them live because it's just as good as it is on the record. Right, this next one is a Finnish Death Doom band but doesn't play in the traditional kind of Finnish Death Doom style. These guys kind of borrow more from the very earlier Catatonia sound and I was introduced to these guys by Brain Smasher. He's a YouTuber, Ben. I was talking about this album, I checked it out, instantly bought it, love it to death. I can't pronounce the band name so I'll leave a link below here so you can read it. But these guys are a either a three piece or a four piece Finnish Death Doom band, but this is like I say, very much a nod to very early 90s sound, the production, the way it's recorded. It sounds like it's come straight out of the 90s. It reminds me of a lot of Dance of December Souls by Catatonia, and that was the main selling point for me because I absolutely love that album. Catatonia have done maybe two really, really good albums, and then they changed their style and they kind of do their own thing now. But back then, they had a very much a deaf doom sound, very guttural vocals, almost black metal style. And a lot of people say it's kind of a Black and Death Doom style, which you know I kind of agree with. But this, absolutely killer. It's totally different from everything else that's come out. This came out in 2019, and it has a very much that old 90s vibe to it that I really, really like. So if you like that kind of style as well, but this is a new band, you know, I believe they're putting out a full length again, either the end of this year or next year so I'm really looking forward to checking it out because I really really enjoyed this so go check this one out really really cool band next one is back in Germany these guys are a fairly well established band but not a lot of people talk about them online that I see anyway in my circles um, these guys are deaf doom but they lean heavily on melody and not so much the chuggy guttural kind of riffs so the, the vocals are very guttural but the melodies and the, the guitar playing is very much melodic it's Nailed to Obscurity, a really, really cool band. This is their latest release from a couple of years ago. Really melodic, like I say, but the riffs are more progressive, kind of chordy shapes, and they kind of pick out the notes and that kind of thing. It's no, it's no chuggy riffs. There's the odd one. The guitar tone is very dry and very melodic, and yeah, they kind of build on that with the guttural vocals on top of it and create this loads of atmosphere and that kind of thing. So yeah, really, really like this band. And again, different kind of style in the Death Doom mold. A lot of bands like the one I'm gonna show you next is very heavy, very chuggy, very gut rule. Whereas these guys are gut rule, but in a, a different style. So go check them ones out. Check them all out. I don't know why I say that after every album I show you say, check it out, you, you know that anyway. I'll try not to say it. Right, next one is Americans. Funeral Leech, these guys I believe are based in New York. I could be wrong though, I can't remember anymore. This came out last year and was an instant buy for me. This ticks all the boxes of what Death Doom is to me anyway. So it's very thick, very heavy, very guttural. Has that kind of nod to early Swallow the Sun in regards to the really heavy stuff they do. Um, the, like the lead work on this is very much to aid the kind of horrible atmosphere they're creating. And this band is just absolutely solid. Very much a nod to like say Hooded Menace, Little Bits of My Dying Bride, but it is a very murky death metal album, but doomy as well at the same time. Hence the death doom kind of soft genre tied to it. Really, really cool band. Really looking forward to what these guys do next because I love the artwork as well. Kind of tells me I'm gonna like it without even listening to it. 
And yeah, a really, really heavy band. So if you never checked out Funeral Leech, very, very heavy. I didn't say it. Right, last one is a band that no one ever talks about, and I'm fairly sure I'm the only person I've seen on the YouTube kind of thing that people do when they show albums. I'm the only one that's really talked about them, which is a shame because they're a really cool band. I believe they're a one-man project now, and he kind of hires musicians. It's a Swedish band, and it's called The Gardeners. This is their debut called uh, The System of Nature. They have two full lengths and one EP. I have the EP, but I don't have the latest full length. And it's more because of the style change. I like it, but I haven't found it anywhere yet, to be honest, to buy it cheaply anyway. Really cool band, but I love this LP. It's got nods to Hooded Menace, My Dying Bride, Early Paradise Lost, Anathema, the early stuff of Anathema. It kind of incorporates all those kind of stars. So you've got the dual guitars, which I absolutely love in doom metal, nearly all the way through this album. Every riff has that kind of one guitar high, one guitar low, kind of carrying those harmonies. Very much Candlemas-esque kind of riffs as well, which I love. And yeah, very, very cool album. The band picture in there. I believe the main guy behind it is this chap here, and he kind of hires musicians to help him out. So yeah, if you've never checked this band out before, go check them out. Really cool band. I know I had to say at the end because no one ever talks about these guys. So if you want to check all these bands out, check this one out the most. The Gardeners. Awesome band. So, even the dogs come in to say hello now because I've been spending so long on this video. So I hope you enjoyed the content I've just showed. All these albums are killer. All these bands are killer. Go check out their back catalogues and let me know what you think. Obviously, I can't show all the albums I've been here all day I mean I had to really knuckle this list down because it started off with like 30 and that's just insane and I don't really want to make a video series about it there's no point so these are the essential albums I think you should be listening to after you know the, the 2000s because you could go back to the 90s and there's loads more death doom you can find there but these bands are all killing it all still active at the moment so go check them all out um, please consider subscribing to this channel if you are new loads of cool content should be appearing around you now around me even and please like this video to help me out in the meantime i'll speak to you guys in the comment section take care cheers